So my husband said he was craving Thai food. I said I was craving Middle Eastern food. So we thought, why not go to a place where we can get everything we want and a whole lot more, plus a 360 degree view. Where are we gonna go? Prairie 360 and you're gonna love it. The views, the atmosphere, the, the decor is, is wonderful. Uh, I like the open concept. It's really nice. Today on Megan's menu, we are at Prairie 360, and joining me in this kitchen is Chef Alfonso. Hi, Chef. Hey, how's it going? Good. So tell me a little bit about your menu and how it's inspired by many different cultures. Well, actually, what we wanted to do is a journey between uh, time in what is Winnipeg or Manitoba area. And so our menu represents all the cultures that they are living all together right now in our appetizers. The main courses are reflected in the whole, uh, the hunter style and the prairie style, what is like 20th century. And our desserts are old style fashion desserts like the first settlements, uh, Mennonite, French, German, Icelandic. So we have new, we have old, we have the traditional. Yeah, exactly. So what more could you want in a menu? Well, uh, Not a whole lot, right? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so the first thing we're going to be making are some giant prawns. Yes, the okay. prawns that is the orientation of Thai Chinese kind of cooking. Let's see, yeah, uh, let's see these okay, sizzle up now. So we have the giant prawns. We right have the here. giant prawns. Yes, we do. Okay, we're gonna just start sauteing the prawns. Okay. They need a big heat in our oil. We put regular oil, uh, canola oil, and also we prepare uh, cayenne oil. Okay, right here, just to give some spice. Oh, a little spice. Okay. Alfonso yeah, yeah, yeah. likes it oh. spicy. It is going. So if we hear that noise, we are on the right way. So we can start to give some color and sear our shrimps. So definitely what we're gonna do is just give the color. You can see how they are turning orange right now. You don't wanna overcook them because then they get rubbery. Exactly, exactly. So what do you have on the prawns right now? A little salt and pepper? Yeah, just salt and pepper. And then we have a special sauce made with orange juice, ginger, lime, and we have ginger, garlic, and chili flakes right here. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna start to burn this with our prawns. Salt, pepper, always should be there. And now we're gonna add our sauce, the orange sauce. This is a three hours cooking sauce. What is in this sauce exactly? Ginger, garlic, chili flakes, salt, pepper, fish sauce. Fish sauce? Yeah. Give it some fishy flavor. Honey, there, got the yeah, honey. Thank you very much. Here you Here go. So the honey is going to bring that nice bit of sweetness. Yeah, definitely. It's going to be a last touch of sweetness because this plate in particular is an explosion of flavors all together of sweetness, spicy. You have the cayenne oil, you have the ginger, you have the garlic, you have the chili flakes. Okay. But well, the it contrast. smells delicious. Yes. I'll be the judge to tell you if it tastes delicious, Alfonso. Know. You know that. So they really don't take long to cook. Oh, no, no, no. It's a five minutes cooking. You can see the color is taken right now. Let's top our shrimps with this sauce. It's thick and full of flavors. Well, it is a pretty good looking plate, I will say. You need to reduce it and the honey makes the, a difference also. And it thickens it up. Yeah, you let me know. Mmm. Definitely succulent prawns. Bit of heat. I'm getting the ginger. Um, I'm also good. getting the garlic, which I love. Okay, I'm just gonna screw the fork. Oh yeah, go for it. I'm just gonna dig right on in. Who are we joking here? <laughs> Is that good? Mm. Definitely getting the hit of the orange. Nice garlic. I'm a huge fan. Sweet. And a little spicy, Alfonso. Yeah. It's a very, very good Everything you want in a prawn. Yeah, I think so. Good yeah. job. Okay. 
local food, definitely it's an experience. The menu is fantastic. Outstanding. Do you own or manage a restaurant that you would love to have featured on Megan's menu? If so, email us and tell us everything about your establishment. But hurry, our next season is booking up fast. If you're interested in being on the show or working with us behind the scenes, we have volunteer opportunities available and we would love to hear from you. Up next on the menu, we are doing a dish that is inspired from the Middle East, and this is his three-way chicken. Three-way yeah. chicken or three chicken, three, way. chicken three ways? Well, as you wish. As chicken I wish. Three ways. Chicken three ways. Okay, so what do we have? We have three different sauces. Three different sauces. We have the risala sauce, we have the peanut butter sauce, and we have the butter chicken sauce. Okay, inspired in Indian cuisine. So we have garam masala as the spices. We have cardamom seeds uh, and the peanut butter, just with lime, cilantro. I mean, it's really, really, it's three different flavors, very, very strong. And then we serve on a bed of rice, basmati long rice. Okay, so I'm going to stand back and let you, uh, let okay, you create so this we're gonna start three made chicken. Searing the three skewers, the chicken skewers. So now when you're searing chicken, would you say it's important to have a hot pan when you put it down? Always. So what we're there. looking for here is a nice brown crunch yeah, on the outside exactly. of the chicken and that's why yeah, our pan exactly. is hot and our oil that's, is also We're going to finish hot. the chicken in our oven after we have that crunchiness and that brown color that you can see golden brown we started. We don't want to burn. So a little bit of salt. Yeah, always. You a have little to, bit of pepper. You have to always. Got to treat your ladies right. So that's really what you're looking for, the nice browning. Yeah, exactly. The color. The color. And then of course you finish them off in the oven so that yeah, the inside Yeah, and also when you sear something, you can keep all the juices inside. Right. It's like this here, avoid just to, the juices to go outside and you keep them. It's really, really nice and the best way just to cook some kind of pieces. So we're gonna put it already in the oven, around seven minutes. And what's the temperature of the oven? It's just 360. 360. Yeah, anytime that you need just to cook something, yeah, not to be color, uh, so you, you work in 360 Fahrenheit. Yeah. 360. So we have this beautiful basmati long rice. Yeah, beautiful, no kidding. Rub it in yeah. a little more. And we're gonna put it as nice a Nice and fluffy and beautiful and it tender. Is. It doesn't look like a pot. It's not undercooked, it's not overcooked. So, a little bit of water, a little bit of oil, salt and pepper. He stirs it, gives it some love. Two to one proportion. Two to, two I of know water, the two to one, one but it rice. doesn't work. Oh, it will. You oh. know, kitchen is a lot of fillings. You need to put your heart there. I put my heart. <laughs> you say I don't put my heart? Oh, I, I put. You I do. put two hearts. I have two hearts. I'm putting into it. So as you can see, look at the color of our skewers. They look really good and they're perfect. Tender. Golden brown. Golden Just brown. What you want. Tender, juicy inside. The salon first. You have the peanut butter right here. Just make a big batch and you can keep it on your fridge with no problem. Or share it with your friends okay. and neighbors. Exactly, definitely, yes. Yeah. They're gonna okay. love it. So, here we go with the dish. Okay. Looks beautiful. That looks beautiful. So, the only thing you need to do is just eat it. Just dig on in? Yeah, 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 yeah. This looks great because we have three pieces of chicken and three different sauces. Okay, I'm going for the first one. Rizala. Rizala. Is there a little butter in there? Always. I'm getting the butter <laughs> and I'm definitely getting the cardamom. It's not too overpowering. No, it but is it's, not. Um, it's not. But well, it's a nice balance with the rest of the sauce exactly. and with the chicken. And you can, how do you feel the chicken? It's juicy, standard. Juicy. It's not overcooked. Perfectly cooked. Here we have the peanuts. Peanut butter. Okay. <laughs> That is rich. It is. And delicious. It's creamy, heavy, yeah. It's heavy, but it's nice because the chicken is light, not over seasoned, and the peanut butter just gives it that nice, well rounded it's flavor. It's yeah. what we look for anytime we cook something, or, or when I cook something, it's just the balance. The harmony between flavors and texture mm. is for me the most important. Touch butter, or not, butter, butter chicken. chicken. You have cream, you have yogurt here, you have tomato paste. You have garam masala. Mmm. That is a mighty fine butter chicken sauce, my friend. Thank that you. is delicious. <laughs> baby likes this one. I think this is I think this is baby's first butter chicken. Really? Nice. I think so. Very good. I'm very proud of it. Yeah, I'm, pr I'm proud of the little nugget too. Mm. If you're looking for chicken done three different ways and that are all perfect, 
Come and see Chef Alfonso at Prairie 360. You are gonna love it. The quality of the food, the ambiance, and the location. Couldn't write down all those yummy recipes in time? MeganDuffy.ca has everything online, complete with tips from Megan and Chef. Also, be sure to connect with us on social media to get a sneak peek at upcoming episodes, behind-the-scenes footage, and exclusive news. Call 12 Stone Creations for your home repairs, renovations, and maintenance. From small repairs to large projects, we've got you covered. For more details, visit us at 12stonecreations.com or call us at 204-599-3357. Do you own or manage a restaurant that you would love to have featured on Megan's menu? If so, email us and tell us everything about your establishment. But hurry, our next season is booking up fast. If you're interested in being on the show or working with us behind the scenes, we have volunteer opportunities available and we would love to hear from you. Up next on the menu, we are going down the pierogi path one more time. We are gonna do bison prosciutto pierogies. Because the bison meat has a particular flavor, it it's sure does. Different. Yeah, I tried just to change it a little bit, so I decided to add prosciutto and onions. So what we have in our filling is ground bison mixed with prosciutto and chopped onions. We have the pierogi shells. They're okay. a little bit bigger, okay, but the machine is going to cut them anyway. So we get our filling, put it in the middle. So every, every pierogi is around almost three ounces. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Go and press. Strong. That's it. You know? Gotta put the baby into it. There, there we go. go. We have two beautiful pierogies, take this off. Oh yeah, two beautiful bison onion prosciutto pierogies. Good? Not yet. Oh, just kidding. Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna put it in the steamer, 100 degrees, and then if you don't have a steamer, of course you can use regular boiling water as every pasta, okay? Five minutes, six minutes in the steamer, and our pierogies are ready to go to the pan. We just pulled our bison prosciutto pierogies out of the steamer, and now yes. we're gonna brown them up a little bit. Exactly, we're gonna give the color we want. So what do we have in the pan? Oh, just oil and a little bit of butter. A little bit of oil, a little bit of butter. You need a little bit of both. The butter's gonna give it the richness, and the oil, you can fry at a higher temperature. And what we have here is the cream that we're gonna use just to top our pierogies. So these are nice, crispy. Yeah, they have it. It's what the people expect with pierogies. Our pierogies are the dough is originally Ukrainian also, like my grandpa. Your grandpa's Ukrainian? Oh yeah. Okay, I think our pierogies are ready to go. Okay, perfect. We have the color we want. So now, this is a sauce that you can dip the pierogi in. It's a nice chilled sauce. Yes. And this is simply sour cream and green onion. Green onion, sour cream. You just put it all together in a blender. Okay. I can smell the garlic. You can smell it. And you can smell that it's roasted garlic. Oh okay? yeah. It's not just garlic. I'm gonna put the sauce on top. So now roasting garlic is very easy. Throw it in the oven, let it roast, exactly. let it get that nice color, and then you can throw it into anything. We like to do our own pickle onions. So we can just stop a little bit and give some color. You're adding a little pink on the plate, making it a little pretty. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. 
So here we have our bison prosciutto pierogies and they look divine. Chef, I'm gonna dig in. This is such a well-balanced meal. I absolutely love it. And thanks for putting a little extra sauce on them. Everyone likes sauce. Yeah, everyone especially likes Especially roasted garlic cream sauce on a prosciutto pierogi with bison. Mmm. Chef, you did good. I had a six ounce uh, tenderloin steak. I thought it was excellent. And matter of fact, I thought it was one of the best steaks I had in my life. Do you own or manage a restaurant that you would love to have featured on Megan's menu? If so, email us and tell us everything about your establishment. But hurry, our next season is booking up fast. If you're interested in being on the show or working with us behind the scenes, we have volunteer opportunities available and we would love to hear from you. Couldn't write down all those yummy recipes in time? MeganDuffy.ca has everything online, complete with tips from Megan and Chef. Also, be sure to connect with us on social media to get a sneak peek at upcoming episodes, behind the scenes footage, and exclusive news. Up next on the menu, we are making risotto fritters. Now, the fritters are going to be paired with what? Of our back uh, adobo ribs. Our adobo ribs. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so as you know, rice and I don't always get along, but you're going to show me a new way to possibly use my rice. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And if my There's rice another is, way to do it. And if, if my rice is slightly overcooked, then we can do it this way. Now is the next step, and we are going to bread it, ball yes. it. Yes. Yes, exactly. Okay. What we do is, you know, as risotto rice, the arborio rice is really sticky. Okay, so you can give some shape. Can I feel? Yeah, sure, definitely. So what type of rice is this? This is arborio rice. Italian arborio rice, rice. Special for it's risotto. The, it's um, it's the Italian rice because it's short and fat. It's short and fat and it's a lot of uh, That was very starchy. nice, was it? It's a starchy, okay. right? So we're going to put this in flour, egg, and panko. Okay. We're going to do it with panko, and then we're going to deep fry it. And the panko will give it that nice crunch at the end. Yeah, the crunchiness we want, exactly, yeah. and the shape. Okay. Yeah, basically it's a good way to elevate the dish, right? Because the Philippines do it with white plain rice, just to make it more gourmet. Right. So I decide just to make a risotto for you. Okay, you, you wanted to kick it up a bit. So as you can see, we have our beautiful risotto case ready to deep fry. Okay, on okay. to the next step, on to the fryer. When we deep fry the adobo ribs, we put corn flour. So we have the adobo rib sauce. And basically, the adobo sauce is a Philippine sauce. And we put soy, soy sauce, garlic, ginger, lemon juice. And then we're gonna reduce it. I'm gonna be thick. You can see the color of our ribs are getting dark. So normally we don't season the ribs because the adobo sauce is so, so rich in flavor and strong. So you don't need to use salt and pepper. Our risotto fritters come to our plate. Put the two risotto See, fritters. I don't think I could make beautiful risotto oh, fritters definitely like this if can. I tried. And we put our back ribs right here. So is it traditional in adobo to use back ribs? Is in Philippines it's really traditional. They, as I told you, they used to make it with white plain rice. So what we're we gonna do here is just with the risotto fritters. As you can see, how thick is our sauce right now? Yeah, very thick. Right? It's like a chocolate. Thick and so very gonna... dark. It is like chocolate. Exactly. Okay. Here we go. Our so adobo ribs. Just dig fritters. on in. Is this how you, you just Are get, you ready? Uh, are you ready? I am. You're ready to watch me eat it? Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, here we go. It definitely reminds me of my mom would always make chicken, chicken adobo. Okay, well, definitely, yeah. And it's the same. It is a Filipino dish, but yeah. I've never had it on ribs. Um, but it's actually, I think I actually prefer it on the ribs. I'm sure about it. Sorry, mom. So what you need to do now is to get one risotto cake, okay. just put it on the sauce, and try it, and you will see again put it the on balance. The sauce. Here yeah. we go. Here's to rice risotto, I should yeah, say. Yeah, yeah. More complicated. Mm. Again, harmony. You have the crunchiness outside. You sauce the almost plain risotto rice that mm. is made just with onions, a little bit of salt, pepper, and chicken stock. But the game is playing with this sauce make that perfect balance. I have to mind. say, I love eating the rice this way because not only can I actually eat it with my hands, 
nice crispy on the outside, tender on the inside. For rice, really, I mean, what more could you ask for? Couldn't write down all those yummy recipes in time? MeganDuffy.ca has everything online, complete with tips from Megan and Chef. Also, be sure to connect with us on social media to get a sneak peek at upcoming episodes, behind-the-scenes footage, and exclusive news. Call 12 Stone Creations for your home repairs, renovations, and maintenance. From small repairs to large projects, we've got you covered. For more details, visit us at 12stonecreations.com or call us at 204-599-3357. Do you own or manage a restaurant that you would love to have featured on Megan's menu? If so, email us and tell us everything about your establishment. But hurry, our next season is booking up fast. If you're interested in being on the show or working with us behind the scenes, we have volunteer opportunities available and we would love to hear from you. doing a classic dessert. Now this is the Bannock Napoleon. So some people say ba or Napoleon is Italian, some people say it's Russian, you say... I say it's French. It's French. Coming from Russia. A lot of good cooks after the Russian Revolution, they just ran away from Russia because they used to work for the Tsar. So they spread all around Europe, so they brought a lot of culture. And most of them, they came to France and they enriched all the French culture of cooking also. Well, and Napoleon himself, I mean, he was all about love. So oh, yeah. maybe he made this for one of his loved ones. Uh, one of the definitely. many. <laughs> well, we'll see with the banner how it works. Do you think this will make me fall in love? Oh, definitely, yes. Okay, what are we going to do with our banner? Banner is very simple dough. Right. It's just flour, baking powder, water, a pinch of salt. What do we do? We cut it just. Spread the, the, the dough and so cut you, it in squares. So you roll it yeah, out. we roll it out with, with a machine, not with a stick. Okay, we have okay, a roller, well, a dough I don't roller. Have, I don't have a machine. Well, you at can all. do it at home. Okay. And then if you have this uh, pizza cutter, so you can just cut, cut these it. squares. So we're gonna deep fry it right now. Okay, so these are fresh out of the deep fryer. Look how much they puffed up. That's beautiful. Oh, yeah, the baking partner is making that job. So what we're going to do now, we're going to put it in our cinnamon and sugar. And it's important to do that while they're hot so it sticks, right? Oh yeah, yeah, exactly. So this reminds me of another dessert. Like what? Like you know what I'm talking about. Churros? Yeah. <laughs> well, a little bit. it's basically same meaning. Because that's part of your culture, right? Churros? It is. Yeah. It is. Definitely it is. Well, at the end of the day, all the cultures, they have similar products. Our second icing, our strawberry. You can see now with the temperature is melting. See the butter melting. Flavored butter melting over deep you fried bannock. You can see how it's falling. With cinnamon and there. sugar. Do you ever just like sneak a bit here and there? 
Yeah, you do. <laughs> this is our Vanak Napoleon. Every time you make a dessert so rich in sugar, you have something to cut this sweetness. So that works is making also our white chocolate ginger ice cream. And you make that in-house? Yeah. White chocolate ginger, ginger ice cream. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to dig on into this ice cream. That is unreal. <laughs> mm. Thanks. It's really good because the dough is, is a neutral dough. Mm. You don't have too much flavor there, so the cinnamon, the sugar, and the icing is doing all that sweetness. That will warm you up on a cold day. <laughs> or keep you company on a lonely night. <laughs> this is such a great combination. I think one of my favorite things about this is not only the melting butter, but the cinnamon on the bannock. Yeah. This oh, is... That is the perfect combination. All the fruits, the ice cream, all the icing, and the bannock. Are you a little jealous right now? I'm really. It's for the baby. I know, I know. You can't I know. be jealous. That's why I'm not. It's for the baby. There are very few menus that are inspired from all parts of the globe, and Chef Alfonso does not discriminate when it comes to his food or his flavor. Or seriously, the awesome view that you're going to get here at Prairie 360. All I can say is you're going to love it. Mmm. And I love this bannock. Couldn't write down all those yummy recipes in time? MeganDuffy.ca has everything online, complete with tips from Megan and Chef. Also, be sure to connect with us on social media to get a sneak peek at upcoming episodes, behind the scenes footage, and exclusive news. Call 12 Stone Creations for your home repairs, renovations, and maintenance. From small repairs to large projects, we've got you covered. For more details, visit us at 12stonecreations.com or call us at 204-599-3357. manage a restaurant that you would love to have featured on Megan's menu? If so, email us and tell us everything about your establishment. But hurry, our next season is booking up fast. If you're interested in being on the show or working with us behind the scenes, we have volunteer opportunities available and we would love to hear from you.